there are two general broad stop categories. One, one is that you need a maximum loss per trade. Every trader should operate with a maximum loss per trade. What is that number? What's the maximum dollar amount you're, you will lose on a trade? Now, this dollar amount can't be something that makes you depressed. This dollar amount, if you lose, can't be make, it, it, it should not make you feel like you need counseling. Do you understand? Now, no loss is pleasant. I get that. But it should be a loss small enough controllable enough to make you believe like, ah, all right, that didn't work so well, but I'll get it back next trade. Now, if the loss feels like you just want to die, it's too big. Or you, you, you feel completely blown away, it's too big. Your maximum loss should be not too small, but it can't be big enough to make you feel like how am I going to get this back? It should make you feel like the very next trade can get it back. So you need to have that. My traders typically start off with about $65 to $75 maximum loss per trade, not per day. That's a different number per trade. Now, you need a maximum loss per trade, but you also need a technical stop system or approach that typically gets you a, a, a stop out point that is less than your maximum loss per trade. Maximum is that final net that catches you. Like the maximum is called maximum for a reason. This is that final safety valve that prevents you from experiencing utter disaster. All right? But you need to not, you can't lose maximum every time. You have to lose smaller. So how do you know how to, how to use a smaller stop? You use a one bar system so to give you a very quick uh, uh, to give you a very quick view of this right if if i'm gonna buy this bar right there okay then a one bar stop system makes me compels me to put my stop one penny under that bar you understand so if i'm gonna buy this bar A one bar stop system would compel me to put a stop under that bar. So I like traders to start off with a one bar stop approach. You're going to risk one bar. And when you risk one bar, you're going to actually exponentially increase the odds that you flip into profitable territory over a collection of trades. Why? Because you're you don't even have to have skill to grab winning trades that produce four bars, eight bars, 10 bars, 12 bars, three bars, two bars, five bars. Because the winning side is not something that you contribute to. You contribute to one side only, the loss side. The stock's job is not to stop itself. Your job is to stop the stock. The stock market's job is to deliver the gain and your job is to fire the stock when it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. You're the firer. The stock is the runner, the worker. Now, what a lot of people do in their trading is that they confuse their function. They think their job is to win. That's not your job. That's the stock's job. Your job is to cut. Your job is to stop. Your job is to prevent the stock from, pro from producing disaster. Your job is to fire the stop when it fails to operate according to the team's plan. And who's the team? You and the stop. You're both team players, but you're the boss. And so you don't even have to have skill to have a stock run three bars on you, run five bars on you, run ten bars on you, run eight bars. But you do have to have skill to kill a play at one bar every single time. And if you can limit your losses to one bar every single trade of your life, I promise you, you'll get 15 bar wins, 12 bar wins, 10 bar wins, 2 bar wins, 5 bar wins, 4 bar wins, 8 bar wins, 1 bar wins, but you will never lose more than one bar. And this, at its core, is proper trading, proper trade management, proper risk management. I risk one for more.
done. So remember, two types of stops. Maximum, don't ever let yourself go beyond maximum. And then one bar stop method. Maximum loss of $200. I would start there. Now that doesn't mean, traders, listen to me carefully, that doesn't mean that you should be losing $200 every single day. Look at the word that is the most important word in this step one, maximum. You, in fact, you should rarely lose $200 in a day. It's maximum 200. It doesn't mean that you wait for you to be down 200 and then get out of everything. No, you have a maximum loss of 200, which means that the majority of your losing days are way less than 200. Maximum is maximum for a reason. It doesn't happen very often. It's your max, the ultimate, but you don't make the ultimate in every losing day experience. Otherwise, it would be called the normal daily loss. No, it's not the normal daily loss. It's the maximum daily loss. So make sure that your days are mostly, your losing days are mostly less than 200, but never, ever more than 200, ever as a max. All right? Now, let's move on. Step number two, write these down, guys. Write these points down. Write these notes down. Write these bullet points down. Step number two, set a maximum loss per trade. Now, there's a distinct difference between a maximum loss per day and a maximum loss per trade. If So if you have a maximum loss per day of 200, then your maximum loss per trade should not be 200. That is stupid. I don't want you using the whole day's allotment to one trade. This is another form of gambling. You're gonna take your whole $200 loss allotment and bet it on red, 13, or black, seven. No, this is not professional. This is once again, another form of gambling. You're going to make your maximum loss per trade smaller much smaller than your maximum loss per day. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take that $200 maximum loss per trade and you're gonna divide it by three. Three is the minimum. You're gonna divide it by three. Some of you can go as far as dividing it by four if you wanna tighten those losses just a little bit more. I would not go beyond four though but I would not start off with less than three either. So it's three or four, your choice. In this example, I've used three. You're gonna take $200, your max, whatever your max is, maybe your max is not 200. Maybe you can't afford to lose $200 on your losing days. Maybe your max is $100. It doesn't matter. I'm using what my traders in my training program start off with. They start off with a $200 max loss per day in my program. I encourage that they split by, they divide that by three or four. That's their choice. The example I'm showing you here is to divide by three, which brings you down to about $66, $67 per trade. You are not to lose more than $66 on any given trade. And let me tell you this, traders. I don't want to see you, right, waiting until you've got a loss of $60, then 62, then 64, then 66, and then you kill the trade. No, that is being a novice. You kill the trade before this is $66 in negative territory. When this is $62, get out. When it's $63, get out. Don't give yourself an actual chance of going even one penny beyond this because this is what builds character in your trading. This is what builds discipline. When you say 66, that's not 66 and five cents. That's not $66 and two cents. That is before $66. And when it's maximum 200 a day, it's not $201. It's before $200. It's before $66. Don't let a single trade take your day away. Do you understand this traders? When you start letting single trades take a chunk of your power away from you. You are not a professional. You are a novice. You are not the trader. The stock is trading you. You are not the trader. The market is playing you. 
We need to be the player of the market. We need to trade the stocks and we need to hire stocks to do us one thing. Remember I explained to you that your job is not to make money. It is the stock's job to make money. This is a partnership. It is your job to do this. You to tell the stock, you've got $66 on the downside. That is your leeway. That is the rope that I'm giving you, all right? If you even hint at violating this rope, if you even hint at failing at your job to make me money, I will fire you. I will eliminate you before you see this number, before 66. Now go out there and do your job.